Greetings, blessings, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roia Amazing, aka Roia Amazing, aka DIY Black Woman. You can check me out on my other channel. I'm going to post this video on both of the channels anyway, so everybody will have it. So this video is titled How to Never Be Broke Again or How to Always Have Some Money. And so this has also to do with the law of attraction, uh, but the law of trusting in yourself, the law of patience, the law of always being whole, perfect, and complete in the now. And so this is a simple thing that I did that I learned. And so what it is is simple. When you have some money, because this is totally around money, because we find ourselves in situations where, oh my God, I don't have the money, or you have some money. When you have some money, you feel a little bit better. And when the money starts to run out, you started to be back in this panic and this space of lack. And when we in the space of lack, it creates more lack. And so this video simply gives you an opportunity to always live in abundance versus living in lack. And so there's a simple exercise. This is a purse, a little wallet purse thingy of mine. And so the thing is very simple. So what you do is you have a certain amount of money. Any amount that you can kind of let it sit there and don't have to be running, hurrying up to spend. So when I started out, I started out with $20. So you would take this $20. If you start with 20, you can go lower or higher, but you have to be an amount where, you know, you just won't spend and you take it and you put it somewhere, possibly in your purse or your wallet, if you're a guy, uh, but somewhere that you can see it, but you know, you're not going to use it. So as you go on about your day and about your life and you run out of money or you starting to get that panic before you go too far with that thought, go and look at that money. Open your purse, your wallet, and look at your $20. Pull it out, look at it, and knowing and tell yourself that I, I'm, living in the, I'm living in infinite abundance. I have abundance now. And calm yourself down. Yes, you don't have, quote unquote, all of what you need in that moment. But by you affirming that to yourself, your subconscious mind, and to the creator, if it's not the case, there is a law that states that if you 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 say that thing is there and you believe it wholeheartedly, you know, and you're not stressed and trying to change the situation, it will be fulfilled. So when you're not worried, things flow a lot better. When we worry and stress about things, we put all kinds of obstacles in the way. So I have my $20 in the purse. And every time I would get into my space of, oh my God, the money is running out, what I'm going to do? I remember, I would go look at it. At first, I would always go back and then open my purse. Because I was using this purse. I don't, I don't carry it no more now. I have another purse. And many more over the time. But this particular one I've had, I carried it some years ago, actually. Uh, so I just was led to share this. And so I have my money. So whatever I'm doing, I have my other areas that everything was in, my other money and whatever I was doing. But when I'm feeling like money is low, I'm getting ready to get into that stress position, I just go in there and look at my $20. But what it did, eventually I stopped having to go look. I was just reminded because it was in my mind. I'm like, I'm living in infinite abundance. I have what I need. I got some money. So no matter what happened, I know I got at least $20. And when you got $20, you got some money. And I did this years ago, okay? And so eventually, I was able to put $50 in there, okay? I replaced the 20 because I elevated my consciousness, and I put a 50 in there. So when I was going to, I'm like, at least I got $50, you know? At least, and I would just... Remember that. So it came to a point where I didn't have to go and look in the purse anymore. All I had to do was remember I have 50. At least I got that much. I can buy gas. I, I even make plans on what I could do with the 50. And then eventually I put $100 in. So I, well, I had at least $100. I can make sure the kids have some food. You know what I mean? I would just, and it just stayed there. 
And I want to tell y'all right now in this purse, I have about $300 in here now. And this $300 been in here for at least five years. I've been living in this apartment for four. And I did it before I came to this apartment. Before when I left the last place. I, left. I moved here in uh, February of 2018. And I had this money in there for some years. But at the time, uh, I think when I moved here, I think I put another 100 since I've been living in this apartment. So the $200 was, was there for those all that time. And then the, the other 100 had probably been here for like a couple more years. But I'm saying this stuff works. So now I don't even have to look at this because I have other places where I have thousands on different amounts, you know, there. But what I want you to give it a try and let me know what comes up for you. I'm going to post this on both of my YouTube channels and I'm going to see if I can get it onto my other social medias. But thank you so much. We can create the life we want. We can have what it is that we desire. Because when we are stressed and worried, we are not manifesting or creating. But then again, we are. We're just creating more of that struggle, worry, and frustration. And when we are relaxed and happy, we are also creating more of that. So I'm just here to remind you of your abundance. Thank you. Much gratitude. Coming from your sister, Roia Amazing, a.k.a. DIY. Black woman in the house. Peace and love, y'all. Mwah.